And the next person I want to talk about, uh, that there is not really any news uh, more than we've had already, is Madeline Soto. So Madeline, of course, was a 13-year-old girl. She just literally had this, this case is, oh gosh, I can't remember. Oh yeah, in Florida. And funnily enough, that's where Anna Knezovic uh, was living, is in Florida before she went to Madrid. And Madeline Soto's case is in Florida. Let me just quickly remind you of the circumstances. It was Madeline's 13th birthday on the Sunday. And on the Monday, she disappeared. She just disappeared into thin air. But as we know, people don't just disappear into thin air, and especially not children don't disappear into thin air. And normally if a child disappears, something's happened to them, haven't they? Anyway, it then transpired. Uh, Madeline was lit. She had her 13th birthday party on the Sunday. She disappeared on the Monday. She was supposedly taken to school by her stepfather, Stefan Sinister, Stefan Stearns. And um, her mother said she'd seen her that morning. Uh, but, uh, you know, that turned out to be impossible. And she was not declared missing until her mother went to pick her up from school later that day and found that she hadn't been at school all day. Now, then the stepfather handed over his phone to the police because obviously he would have been first suspect, stepfather. Uh, and of course, first suspect quite often is the right suspect because he had done an accidental phone reset on his phone, according to him, which obviously he thought he'd been able, factory reset, you know, as if you can do that accidentally. I don't even know how to do it deliberately. Anyway, that's what he said to the police. He handed over his phone because he had no choice, really. Uh, and But he said he'd accidentally reset it, done a factory reset on it, uh, thinking he was cleverer than the police, which, of course, he wasn't because the police know how to get back messages, even if you do a uh, factory reset your phone. So to all you twonks out there, and sorry, I don't mean the what nice ones of it, but if anyone is watching who's thinking of doing something like Sinister Stephen or Stefan, you know, don't bother doing that with your phone because uh, the police can get all everything up. They got all these images up. Uh, he's now been charged with 60 counts, 60 different counts of some kind of essay against a child many of which were madeline in her own home uh, but we don't know for certain whether they were all to do with madeline or whether there were other children involved so he was arrested on that basis he's not coming out of prison whatever happens then a few days later they found poor madeline they found her body so uh rest in peace madeline now she has been brought home if you like as she has had an autopsy but the police will not release the details of her cause of death and we're going to, that's the video we're going to look at in a minute so since then though nobody still has been charged for her murder because she was then found a few days later sadly deceased the police have told us that um they did have CCTV of Stefan, where they thought she was in the back of his car deceased. He was also disposing of her computer and some of her school things. So something happened in between the birthday party, uh, where we've seen the photos of the birthday party and lots of lovely, lovely pictures of her, where she looked very happy. Um, sometime in between then and eight o'clock the next morning, she something happened somebody murdered her somebody and as we say we don't know as i say we don't know the cause of death yet so obviously stefan is prime suspect he's not cooperating apparently um i expect he's just terrified to open his mouth he's you know just for the 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 actual images that he's got on his phone he's not coming out of prison probably but um you know 
he needs to, if he is guilty of uh, Madeline's murder as well, he needs to be held accountable for that. But the police have not charged anyone. And of course, there's a lot of aspersions cast against the mother, Jen. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about Jen. I'm not sure that she's involved, but I just think she's just oblivious to everything and for, or turned a blind eye. Anyway, it'll all come out in the wash one way or another. But she has not been charged either. So we have to remember that. She has not been charged with anything. And the police did say that she was cooperating fully. They said the family are cooperating fully. The only person who's not cooperating is Stefan. And my, uh, the other thing that sort of annoys me a bit about this case is Madeline's father is rarely mentioned, but it turns out he was a big buddy of Stefan Stearns, you know, so he should be being challenged as well about what did he not realise that anything was going on? Because this has gone on for at least two years and probably more, more than that. You know, it's not something that's just happened recently. Um, obviously, something went wrong in the end. If he, if he has murdered her, it would be an argument over something. Maybe she decided she wasn't going to do it anymore. Maybe she was pregnant. You know, we don't know. We don't know. And if the police are not releasing details of her cause of death, they have not released anything to say she was pregnant or anything, but there's a lot of conjecture about that. Sometimes, you know, as victims get older, they start to refuse, start to realise, start to like boys at school, you know, and the, the perpetrators, the, they get angry, jealous, uh, or could be, you know, as she's got older, she's just not to his taste anymore because he prefers children. And you can see, you know, she's uh, starting to develop. She's a 13-year-old girl and sometimes... You know, they don't, they come to an age where the uh, perpetrators are not interested in them anymore because they're interested in children, you know, not women. So that that's a possibility as well. But I think one thing that everybody can agree with, uh, whatever other things we might not be sure of, he is an absolute twonk, Stefan Stearns. Uh, and he worked at Disney World. You know, just the thought of him working at Disney World with all those children. But anyway, so let's have a quick look at this video. Joins us in studio. And Paolo, you spoke to a forensic expert about this latest development. Yeah, Michelle, and the medical examiner says they won't release Maddie's autopsy because she's a minor and her death was related to an act of domestic violence. As for what comes next, a professor I spoke to says it's about getting things ready for formal charges. It has been more than a month since 13-year-old Madeline Soto's body was found in a wooded area in Osceola County. As the investigation into her death continues, the medical examiner's office said Thursday they won't release her autopsy report. A decision David Thomas, a professor of forensic studies, says makes sense. I would say before the Gainesville student murders, they would just about release anything. And then after that, the media went crazy. So they created laws to protect uh, so that information could not be released. And so that it, it, it's just a normal course of business in order to protect victims. In March, we learned law enforcement found evidence that Stefan Stearns, the mother's boyfriend, had been sexually abusing Maddie for nearly two years. While he is facing more than 60 charges related to child sex crimes, Stearns has not been charged in Soto's murder. You have your primary suspect in custody with 60 charges that are all dealing with some form of sexual battery or, 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 or crime against sexual crime against a child. No bond. He's not going anywhere. So in order to make sure that the agency does everything correctly and there, there's no ifs, ands, and buts about it, they are being very methodical to get to this point to where they can say, okay, we're ready to make formal charges now. Thomas says since Stearns is already being held in jail, he thinks the public should be mindful of this and appreciate that law enforcement is taking their time to make sure they get all of the evidence and everything they need to get this case right and bring justice for Maddie. Back to you. Uh, yeah. So he, um, let me just put that down now. So, yeah, uh, a, a lot of people are getting frustrated because they want someone to be charged, obviously, with the murder of Madeline. 
But at the end of the day, I agree. It, 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 he's in prison. He's not going anywhere. They'll take their time. They'll get all the evidence together. They want a, a, a cast iron case, don't they? They don't want it to go wrong. Um, and so I think that's basically what's happening with Madeline's case. Uh, again, until actually they've got all their ducks in a row, that expression, uh, you know, there's no reason for them really to release any more information, especially if it may compromise the trial when it finally happens. So that's basically, um, you know, what's going to happen. I think I've seen the video of him in the police car 411. But uh, what do you mean when I've seen the, the like that video where the, he was taken to be charged? Uh, and then he was shaking his head and whatever. But anyway, what what happened in the the video in the police car? Let me know, and I, I'll, I will have a look for it. Let's see if you think it's worth looking at. Oh, complaining. Oh, it's come up on the Spanish. Uh, it's come up on my Spanish news. Let's have a look. I'll share it. Let's see. It's a TikTok. I don't know why they don't do that. You know, why don't, why don't they just... Kind of like, at least give you a blanket, you know? Wow. Oh, he's whinging because it's too cold and he hasn't been given a blanket. Oh, first night he was on the concrete floor with the uh, toilet paper. And nothing else. Making for a blanket, but had to sleep Oh, so he was on a concrete floor with toilet paper as a pillow and nothing else. I bet that policeman's thinking, you absolute twonk. So you've murdered a 13-year-old girl that you've been abusing for at least two years, if not longer, and you're whinging because you're on a concrete uh, floor with a toilet roll as a pillow. What shame. Oof. That sounds rough, man. Poor Stephen. Poor Stephen Stern. So this is a Spanish uh, TikToker who was uh, talking about that. Let's just watch that again because it does come up in English. Do that, you know? Why don't Why don't they just kind of like at least give you a blanket? You know? Oh, I don't know why they do that. Why didn't they just give you a blanket? Core temperature was down. We told me it took it. It was like a degree or two lower than it should have been. Wow. It was a couple of the temperature had gone down. It was a couple of degrees lower than it should have been. When you hear him talking, he just sounds like a total wimp, doesn't he? You know, a man like that, they're the sort of men that like children because they're like children themselves. They can't cope with a real woman because they're not men. You know, he's like, mm -hmm. and I noticed that when you saw him with Jen. Uh, if Jen's guilty of anything, it's just like being an idiot as far as he's concerned. I still cannot believe that she knew what was happening to her daughter and sanctioned it. But you know what? Maybe stranger things have happened, of course. Uh, but the thing is, she treated him like a man baby, didn't she? she saw that. She was comforting him. It was her daughter that had gone missing. He was sat there with his dry bit of tissue paper uh, and it was her comforting him.
like regularly sleeping on bare metal. The first night I was on a concrete floor with a roll of toilet paper for a pillow. And nothing else. And also, just a toilet roll as a pillow and nothing else. I think he said he was nude as well. And for a blanket that I had to sleep on for like two days. I think they were supposed to do something. So he had to sleep like that for two days. Well, do you know what? Get the violins out. I don't know about you. I'm just heartbroken for him. I don't think I'll sleep tonight thinking about how Stefan Stearns is sleeping with a toilet roll as a, a pillow. Oh, my God. <laughs> just, oh, God. It's bad enough when these twonks do these horrible things. But you know what? At least have the humility to just shut up about it. Good God. Awful, awful. Uh, just, does he really think that we're all going to feel sorry for him? You know, do, does he really think that everyone's going to feel sorry for him now? Anyone is going to feel sorry for him now? Yeah. Yeah, 411. I, I think that that is it. I think she was probably knocked out completely with her meds because even his friends said, didn't he, on one of the YouTube channels, his friend, Stefan's friend, said um, she was on a lot of medication. Now, I could imagine she'd woke up that morning, she's probably said, or oh, where he could, he's a manipulative man. You've got to remember. Uh, people who can manipulate, you cannot underestimate how much they can manipulate you. And it doesn't happen overnight. You know, there'll be the love bomb. And in the beginning, it, Jennifer, uh, Jen was a single parent. Her husband, a previous, well, uh, Madeline's father had married another woman just a month after Madeline was born. Why does no one talk about him? I don't like it how the fathers get away with things. Uh, you know, where's his responsibility? He was a big mate of Stefan's. You know, he was taken in by Stefan as well. Uh, and I think probably Jen, yeah, she's probably woke up. She's probably not even known what day it is. And he said, oh, don't you remember? You saw her this morning and getting dressed. And she's like, oh, yeah. Because she won't remember what morning it was if she was really, uh, you know, totally zonked out. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened. It could be that she knows all about it. All I'm saying is that's a possibility in my eyes. And until she actually gets charged with something, I cannot, I don't think it's fair be, uh, to cast aspersions on her until something's known for certain. Because she has lost her daughter, after all. You know, let's remember, she's lost her daughter. Um, and she's probably waking up to the realisation that for all these years, this twonk has just totally had a... Uh, under his thrall and and she's not realized it she, imagine what she's going through and um so so and not only it ha doesn't only happen you know she's not the only one it happens to lots of women get taken in by abusers abusers target single mothers with children uh, that they're interested in like girls or boys they target them. They love, but they know that maybe for that financially they need help, or certainly emotionally they need help. You know, these people are clever. So I think you know anyone who's casting aspersions at uh, Jen really, for me, I think we've got to wait and see and find out what the truth is because, you know, um, there. But for the grace of God, you know, it's easy when you've never been in that position to sort of. Uh, cast aspersions at someone but until we know for certain that's all I'm saying yeah and I agree 411 probably a lot of abused children are diagnosed with AD you know that people think they're the problem you know but there's a the, tr the thing is you cannot see into someone's mind can you and when children are doing acting out or whatever it's normally because something's happening to them not always. I mean, some children do. I mean, God, my <laughs> my one of my nieces, her son had ADHD, and you just knew it from the minute he could walk because he, he was just like you know, just uh, just like a whirling, whirling dervish is the only 
uh, word I can use. So obviously some children do genuinely have ADHD, but uh, yeah, others I'm sure are misdiagnosed for whatever reason. Okay, so that's all we know so far, you know, or what we know so far about uh, Madeline. Uh, and I'm glad I saw that video about Stefan. He's just a pathetic man. He's such a pathetic man. You know, he, he thinks it's being a man to abuse a child. You know, uh, uh, just anyway, I think I better stop talking about him. <laughs>